Do you have pelvic organ prolapse and you don't want surgery? You have options. One of them is Kegel exercises. As long as Kegels are done correctly, most women are not doing Kegels correctly. I'm the Kegel Queen. I'm a registered nurse and my name is Alice Adams. In this video, we'll talk about how Kegel exercises can stabilize or even reverse prolapse. What are Kegel exercises and how do they help? Let's get started with an introduction to the muscles. So Kegel exercises are an exercise just like any other muscle exercise for any other set of muscles in your body. So the muscles we're talking about are these muscles in the pelvic floor. So this is your pelvis, these bones, your pelvis, and then at the base and back of the pelvis, this rounded hammock of muscle here is the pelvic floor. It's made of muscle and connective tissue, and these muscles are a big part of the support for your pelvic organs. So your bladder and your uterus and your rectum all nestle into this pelvic bowl. They're right up close, right on top of each other like uh, jigsaw puzzle pieces, all nestled together into this bowl. And they're supported from behind and below by the pelvic floor muscles and they're supported from the sides and above by ligaments. So part of the support for your organs is the ligaments. Those we cannot exercise. But part of the support is these muscles and we can exercise those. So these muscles, if they're working really well, they do a better job holding up your organs. Is the basic, simple, simple explanation and how that works is when these muscles are working well they have good tone that means they're firm when you exercise them properly they become thicker so they're they're providing more bulk to support you another thing that happens is the pelvic floor when you do kegel exercises correctly the pelvic floor muscles sit higher up in the pelvis, supporting your organs higher up. And another way Kegels help is what we have here. I'm going to just take off this outer layer of the pelvic floor to show you something. So here, this gap in the muscle is called the urogenital hiatus. That's where the urethra that passes urine and the vagina go through this layer of muscle. So there's a hole in the muscle. It's through that hole that prolapsed organs literally fall. They don't fall all the way out, usually. Usually there's just a little bit going through, but it is through this gap that the organs go. So if you do Kegel exercises correctly, you actually shrink this gap. The urogenital hiatus gets smaller when you're doing kegels right, and that helps also keep your organs where they belong. So many, many women have improvement with pelvic organ prolapse when they're doing kegels correctly, and that's the key word. Most women, even if you learn from a physical therapist or a doctor or a childbirth teacher, most women are not doing Kegel exercises correctly. And if you learned Kegel exercises from a paragraph in a magazine or a five minute spot on a TV show, you're definitely missing out on correct technique. So that technique really has, to, it's simple, but it has to be correct in order for you to get the therapeutic benefits of Kegels that you really want. Now, in order to um, do Kegels correctly, again, it's simple, but you have to know how. And that happened with me. Um, I had a beautiful baby girl, and after she was born, I had some 
things that didn't seem right anymore down there. I had sensations and symptoms that I had no idea at the time were typical symptoms of bladder prolapse. I had this feeling like I needed to pee. Every step I took was just this kind of gotta pee sensation. I had this feeling like it felt like there was a bowling ball and a trampoline between my legs that kept sort of lunging toward the ground as I walked. And if I wanted to say go out for a walk, I really had to do it on an empty bladder or it was really uncomfortable. I didn't know what that was about, but when I started doing Kegels correctly, which was a bit of a project for me, I spent a year um, doing research at the, our local medical library about how to do Kegels correctly. I read 60 years worth of research, hundreds of pages of studies and abstracts about the pelvic floor and how to do Kegels and how to make Kegels stick, a lot of information. And I condensed it into a program that I could actually do in minutes a day. And in two months, those yucky bladder symptoms were totally gone. I also had no more sneeze pee that had been bothering me. I had a little bit of incontinence. And the sex problems that were really my biggest motivation to find out how to do Kegels right the sex problems were completely gone as well. So Kegels have been really powerful for me. And I've been teaching women in 22 countries around the world how to do Kegel ex exercises correctly too. So if you'd like to find out more about Kegels, come and see me at kegelqueen.com. I'm the Kegel Queen and I'm here to help you.